Hey guys, Pat1979 here. I'm gonna bring to you today a quick comparison between two batteries. So uh, one is something I got off Amazon. So this is the Gold Bat, or uh, you know, however you want to spell it. So, uh, but you know, I got this off Amazon for about a um, 50 bucks. So 50 bucks for 3S LiPo 50C. Wait, let me look at the light there. I am using the GPS speedometer app early access so I've tested that app and it's dead on accurate with my car so I tested it in my car and I'm going 30 miles an hour this thing says I'm going 30 miles an hour uh, without any connection so and I'm gonna be measuring that to the ZOP power yeah so the ZOP power so here you go you guys can see 11 volt 5000 milliamp uh, 60C so uh, you guys will see in the video that uh, if you guys want a result right now, I'm not going to give it to you because you have to watch the video. But let me just say that both of these batteries, they need uh, a warm up. So you need to do a first time run, then you run it the second time, uh, you let it rest a little bit, you switch battery, you do a first run, you switch battery again, and after that you can, uh, you can start measuring speed because it's very interesting from the first time and the packs were both fully charged 4.2 volts each uh, for each cell so or 4.19 volts so uh, but guys uh, very interesting so uh, bad lithium-ion batteries apparently needs to warm up so uh, the first run that I did on full power so I'm just open that back up here so the first run that I did on full power interesting that you see the little lines there uh, the first run that I did, you guys can see the speed on each battery is not optimal, so it's not the full speed. So guys, watch the video and let me know what you think. Uh, which one would you buy? I mean, this is a just a regular pack and this is a hard pack. This thing is 50 bucks, this thing is 30 bucks. So, uh, if I can get as much enjoyment out of this that I can, and if I can bash that thing a little bit, so as you guys can see, I just modified it just a little bit, so little bit of tape at the end so just where it bounces and that one is coming undone so there's a little bit of stickiness to it so I'm probably gonna put some Gorilla tape over it just to uh, just to put it a little bit more secure there just like I did with this one so Gorilla tape there it's not going anywhere so it's a little bit of foam that I had in my uh, one of my uh, webcam that I received so protective foam so you can get that everywhere guys it's just look in one of your boxes so little cut out for the wire so that it rests on the foam and not on the battery itself so just just a little uh, just a little uh, modification I did but it doesn't affect battery performance so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and let's go on to the testing phase and uh, you guys let me know what you think the Creighton 4S is stuck everything is bone stuck on it I've been running this for a little bit uh, a little while and this is tons of fun so uh, let me guys know what you think, 3S power on the Creighton 4S, let's see the top speed and let's see which battery is the best, so enjoy! Hey guys, Pat1979 here. I'm uh, gonna do some quick testing between the Gold Bat and the, um, the Zup Power from Banggood, so uh, just do a couple of quick testing. Downloaded that GPS app that I'm gonna show you guys later or put in the description. Uh, downloaded that, it's a pretty good app, so let me just reset it, click, Oop, tap to reset, and reset, yes, so now it's at zero. So, full speed, a uh, little bit of testing between the, uh, the Gold Bat and the, uh, the Zop Power to see which one of the two has more speed, so hopefully I can get some good speed run. I'm going to do one speed run to go forward over there and I'm gonna come back and we'll see for the speed hopefully I can hold it for a little bit longer and because that that app uh, since it's not connected to uh, the internet uh, via this is my old phone so there's no Jeep uh, sim cards in it uh, I'm gonna have to uh, hold it for a little bit longer so hopefully let's do it so all right first speed run this is with a Zup power and we're gonna see how much speed we can get in miles per hour and just to say guys that GPS app speed app that I have on my phone I tested it in my car uh, just in the phone holder 
mount and just tested it and just it was perfect so dead on it's just that it wasn't it, there was a small delay to get to that speed but if I hold like 30 miles an hour for a couple of seconds it matches that 30 miles an hour so anyway guys let's do it and first speed run with the um, maybe I'll do two speed run we'll see uh, first speed run with these up power Let's do one more guys. Alright, this is perfect place to do this because alright, so let's do two like that. Alright, this should be enough. I love the Creighton just because of the stability. Let's see the speed. 29 miles per hour guys 29 miles per hour so let me show you that to you guys and the app just keeps rotating so 29 miles per hour on the uh, on the um, first run with the uh, Zop power so I'm gonna reset the app and just do one more uh, back and forth just to see the speed again and then we're gonna switch to the gold dot or gold bat. All right, this thing is reset. The battery is warmed up a little bit. So now let's give it a second try with the Zup power, and let's see how much speed we can get. So I'm gonna try to floor it for a little bit. So let's go. This is as much speed as we're gonna get, guys. This is as much speed as we're gonna get, so. Let me see with this one. 30 miles per hour, guys. 30 miles per hour, so let me show you guys. All right, so this is with the Zop Power from Banggood. 30 miles an hour. Let's switch to the Gold Bat. And let's see what it gives, guys. Let me, uh, give me two seconds, I'll switch battery and I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys, we are back and we are reset. So it took me two minutes to change battery. So I'm going to tap and I'm going to reset this to click. Yes, so it's zeroed out. So, all right, running the gold bat that I had, that I got from uh, Amazon, 50 bucks for that one. Kind of expensive for what it is, but stuff from Gearbest uh, from uh, Banggood is just uh, cheaper. So let's run a quick test run with the uh, gold bat I'm gonna do two runs and I'm gonna just uh, I won't reset the GPS I'm just gonna well actually I'm gonna do two runs reset the GPS then I'm gonna do two more runs so uh, back and forth so alright guys let's go with the gold bat and see how much speed we can get All right, guys, this is the first run. So uh, let me, that, that's why I'm gonna do probably a reset on it and I'm gonna run it again, so. All right, so let's look at the max speed. So yeah, that's why I need to do another run just in case that app just bugged a little bit. So 38 miles per hour on 3S with the gold bat, so. 
All right, guys, I'm resetting and I'm doing another run back and forth, back and forth again, and let's see the speed. All right, speed is reset. Let's wait for the car to go by. And let's do a little speed run after this. All right, another speed run. Let's see if that was a fluke or it was actually real, so. Moment of truth. All right, 36 miles per hour, people, 36. So yeah, the Zop power from, uh, from Banggood that are supposed to be uh, 60C, guys, I'm not buying it. So this battery is fully charged and I'm not buying it. So this is how I modified it to go in the car uh, Just to uh, protect the battery a little bit. So but you know if it's a good basher battery, why not? So let me just change it one more time to go back to the Zup power and just see real quick if we can't get at least more than freaking 30 miles an hour out of it. All right. All right, guys, the Zup Power is back in action. So let's go back, reset the GPS and uh, the GPS app, and let's go back with the Zup Power. All right, just to show you guys that this thing is sitting on zero. Well, actually one, but I'm gonna reset it. Anyways, you guys get it. So even if there's one mile an hour, it won't matter, so. Alright, Zup Power, second and last run, so let's go back, back and forth, back and forth, two times, and let's do a little tri trial run to see if we can get more than 30 miles an hour, well actually more than 36 or 38, which I got with the gold bat, so. moment of truth actually i think these battery guys they just need a little bit of time to acclimate to the speed and just to warm up a little bit i think because uh when i when i'm at home the ac is there so i think they just need a little bit more time to acclimate so let me show you guys the speed real quick that i got with the zop power so 41 miles an hour on 3s yeah that's pretty good i'd say so um Guys, 41 miles an hour, so, you know, I, I was skeptical at the beginning, but I, I did this test already, but I wasn't happy where I was, so I wanted something that's more consistent, and the uh, the asphalt is just better here, so uh, that's cool. So a uh, little bit more uh, accuracy here, so hopefully I can, you know, test some more batteries in the future, some more brands, and just, you know, do some speed run to see which one has the more power. So I was knocking down the Zup power a little bit in the beginning. So I guess, you know, bolt batteries, they just need a couple of packs. Uh, I mean, a couple of times to run and just to give you guys the full punch, uh, the full power on the battery. So I think I held the trigger for long enough for the GPS to be able to, uh, to, be able to hold. So hopefully you guys enjoy. And uh, if you did, just give it a thumbs up. 
it's always appreciated guys and look forward to more video with the Creighton and more testing in the future so you guys can make an informed decision on what you want to buy uh, for an RC car. So hopefully you guys enjoy and catch you guys on the next one.